Good day my scholars, this is my school channel and my name is Abiola. For this video lesson, you are going to join me to go through the topic variation. So we are going to look at several concepts attached to the topic. We are going to consider direct variation, indirect variation, combined variation and the like. So do not go anywhere. Stay with us and we will be right back. Welcome back to my school YouTube channel. Right there, you are going to join me to dig through this topic. All right, so we have variation under the units of number and numeration. All right, so what's variation? That's the intro part. So, variation is just a kind of a relationship that reveals, you know, what happens between quantities. All right, so, like for instance, uh, you know, when you look at the expression, uh, you know, okay, let's, let's say I'm using your phone your device probably you're using an android phone or an iphone or whatever okay so i realized that um under the concept of direct variation all right so like i mentioned earlier variation reveals the relationship between quantities okay so i'm taking the first one no we have types here we have direct inverse joint combined and partial variation in short some um presentation which we tell you that uh, we also have quadratic okay kind of variation all right but let me just work with this five so under direct variation you are showing the relationship between um two quantities all right so in direct variation as a quantity increases the other two should increase so like for instance uh, i know i was referring to your device okay so let's say your your device is the battery is running low right what can you do you have to plug it to power all right, to so connect it to power. So in connection to power, the more time of connection, right, will account for the amount of um, power up that you're going to have on your device. Okay, so let's say for instance, your device reads 20% currently. All right, so if you plug it for the next two hours, you can see that you have more charges that will be sent into the device, isn't it? So after two hours, at least you should have probably like an 80%, depending on the kind of device or other factors okay considered so you can see that so the more charging time the more power accumulated so that is a direct kind of variation you know an increase in a particular quantity reflects an increase in the other quantity okay we can see that very well so we have another concept here inverse variation so in inverse variation the relationship between these quantities you know what you're going to notice that is that um, as one quantity increases the other goes down all right so can we pull out an example? I'd like to use um, life scenarios. Okay, so let's say for instance, um, the relationship between um, price and quantity demanded, you know, generally, or let's just say, yeah, generally, let's, let's, let's just work around that. So we know that um, as the price of an item increases, you will see that uh, people will like to go for substitutes or commodities that have a um, relative value like that same item, right? But with lower prices. Okay, do you see that now? So um, we can say in inverse relationship, as the price of an item goes up, the quantity demanded for that particular item should go down. Okay, so you can see that's a kind of inverse relationship. Uh, when you want to refer to people, you know, probably in the science department or thereabouts, you know, when you look at the relationship between um, uh, relationship between that should be between uh, I think um, pressure and volume. All right, so the more the pressure, the lower the volume. You can you can refer to Boyce law. All right, so this is what we have right here. So the next is joint variation. So joint variation is like um, an expanded form of this direct variation. So in joint variation, you are looking at um, a kind of expression, a kind of relationship whereby the event that happens for a particular order that happens with a particular quantity is not just dependent on just another quantity okay at least two more quantities all right so like for instance if you look at some um, distance traveled right distance traveled will be affected by these two factors rate and time okay so if you want to check how far you've traveled all right that would depend on the rate at which you are traveling and the time you've spent in traveling 
do you see that now? So in joint variation, you can just say it's, it's a product of um, two other variables, okay? Two variables that now reflect the results on the on another variable, all right? So that's just the relationship. I'm just trying to use life scenarios. I want to break down mathematical jargons, okay? That's been referred to so far. So in joint variation, it's just like, um, instead of you having one um, item or another variable, okay, that affects the other one, you are talking about at least two variables, okay, that detects what happens here. And in joint variation, you know, it's going to be that, it's going to be, if it's, if it's a direct variation that is happening, it's going to be direct to the both quantities that reflect what happens here. So, as these two quantities increase, this will also increase. If they are going down, this should also go down. Do you see that now? So, in joint variation, just like the expanded form of direct variation. Of course, I'm going to pull in more examples as we go deeper in this video lessons with, um, with questions and solutions provided. So let's come to combined variation. So in combined variation, you're actually combining some types of variations together. Okay, so in combined variation, I can have direct variation and inverse variation in the same equation. Okay, do you see that now? So for instance, in combined variation, it's not just one thing okay, that is happening or one kind of operation that is happening. So in that um, scenario, you can have something like this. For a combined variation, I can have something like this. No, not just one. I can say k varies directly. Are you seeing that now? As y. Okay, let me not use k. K is also always referred to as constant. Okay, so let me say m varies directly as y. Directly as y. And inversely, do you see, as, let me say, p. So you can see this is an example of combined variation. Some presentation would have presented to you that um, this is a kind of joint variation or whatever, but I'm just trying to bring out clarity, all right, to this concept at hand. So you can see in combined variation, you are having two expressions or two different kinds of variation. So you can see I have direct here and I have indirect. So at the end of the day, the equation would just be m equals ky. You know, this is the constant of variation, all right, over p. So the direct variation or the direct proportion now will be the one at the numerator. The inverse relationship will be revealed here. Do we see that now? So that is for combined. So in combined, if you are asking combined, you are having at least two types of variation being um, packed together in that particular question. So let's come to partial variation. So in partial variation, what do you have? Okay, so in, in partial variation, aside from the, you know, indirect variation, you just have um, what happens to a particular quantity affects the other quantity. But there's now another quantity that stays alone, okay, it's quite independent, but this same quantity still has effects on what is happening to the quantity outside. So let me just show you what I mean. Like for instance, let's say, let me pull up something about um, direct variation. Let's say, um, let me mention a name, okay? Uh, should I use a female or a male? Okay, let's start with females, um, ladies first. Okay, so let's say I have uh, Kate, okay? So if Kate earns um, 20, let's say 20,000 Naira every day, okay? If she earns 20K every day, Kate's 20K, oh, wow. Okay, so Kate earns 20K per day. You can see? So how much is Kate going to earn in five days? So in five days, that will be 100K, of course in five days so practically under normal circumstances right if um kate comes to work regularly and she does what she has to do you can see that um as the number of days increase you can see that that will also reflect the pay that goes into our account right so the more the days the more the pay do we see that now so if kate collects or receives 20k per day that means in five days she's going to receive um, 100k in 10 days that's going to be 200k so as the number of days increases you can see our pay increases do we see that now so this is a very good example of direct variation okay so i want to pull out partial variation from here now and i said there's another quantity that actually affects how much she takes home so that is if k actually uh, if she has a side also or something she does aside from a regular job Okay, so let's say um, she's into some kind of business or businesses. Okay, so let's say for every time she comes online, okay, probably she's being paid, uh, let me say 30 Naira, or let me say 500 Naira per day. Okay, so every time she comes online, let's say she spends like at least 10 hours in a day, okay. Or let's just say daily, as she comes online daily, yeah, daily, as she comes online daily, she gets 500 Naira. Okay, or let me just say 1,000 Naira. 
a thousand naira. I'm just trying to work with the available space here. So we can see this that the amount that Kate takes home now we change. All right. So as she goes to work and she comes online as well, it's, it's possible that she's on transit, right? And she just pops online. One K comes to her, one thousand error. All right, goes into her account. So per day, she doesn't just earn twenty thousand error now. She earns how much? Twenty one thousand error. So in two days now, she just she will not just earn how much? She won't just earn forty thousand error. She's going to earn forty two thousand error. So you can see this reveals a kind of partial variation. So let's see, for instance, even if Kate um, does not go to work for two days. What would be our intake or our income? Our income will still remain how much? 2,000 Naira. Okay, because she goes online. So this is a very good example of partial variation. As well, we are going to still look into some examples and um, yes, I think a deeper concept as we go further in this um, topic. All right, so do not forget that you just have to subscribe for this video lesson. All right, the full video session is available. All you just need to do is to click on the link in the description below. This is going to get you to the My School website. Okay, right there, you get to make subscription for this video lesson and you have access to several um, video lessons in mathematics and other subjects as well coming up. So do not forget to hit the like button. Also, click on the subscribe button and always tap on bell notification for you to get alerts immediately we upload the next video content.